My name is Hunter Hilton and I'm our student at ETSU. When I arrived at ETSU, I was a biology major and then after the first semester, I was like, man, this is, this is definitely, definitely not for me. So after that first semester, I changed my, my major to art and my mom was like, yes, oh my gosh, that's awesome. My dad was like, oh, what's, what's he gonna do with his life? The artwork itself is actually a, uh, a self-portrait of myself in, in narrative format. So all the characters in this story, they have characteristics of myself that are their entire personality. The story is, is it expresses my worldview and it has things that are, that are written in the images and they are in the images and planted in the images in a way that they don't directly tell you what's happening in the image, but they are kind of a subtext to what the image is actually about and the metaphor that accompanies the specific image and I hope that the viewer can relate those words to the imagery and come up with their own thing and hopefully be able to formulate what I'm saying and maybe it has an impact on them and their worldview. I was trying to think of a way to represent how even though we set a path for ourselves in our life and we have a focus, there's things along the way that pull us in different directions and even though we're walking in that direction, we still have to step aside and things get caught up and we have, like, we have other obligations that, that pull on us. So, Usually you think of your shoes and what you wear when you're walking and your shoelaces are hanging loose so maybe you catch on to something that pulls you a certain way and you drift away. So I mean that's just a theme that's been in my work for the past couple years and I really really enjoy it's just that, like, the aesthetic look of it as well. After I graduate from, from ETSU I would really like to become an art teacher. That's what I've been doing with my degree here. My major is art and my minor is education so I've been student teaching and things like that. So I really would like to become a teacher and then pursue art similar to these things around me in, in my own free time and explore those art avenues as well.